fiery horse with speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> When the western United States was first opened to settlers, gun law ruled the range. The coming of the railroad was a civilizing influence, but it was the masked rider of the plains who did most to bring law and order to the frontier. Astride his great horse, Silver, he fought crime and criminals through the length and breadth of seven states, and the memory of his deeds will remain with us as long as the memory of the early west itself. Return with us once more to those thrilling days of yesteryear, from out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, silver! We're heading to the railroad at Sioux Rapids. Come on, please, hold us there. Hello, silver! <laughs> Limpy Davis led one of the most daring bands of outlaws in the West. Ruthless himself, he demanded the same quality in his men. As our story opens, we see them crouched in a clump of trees near the newly opened railroad line. A pile of logs has been placed on the track, and as Limpy steps out of cover and looks toward the east, he says, What's the time, Webb? Most ten o'clock. And that choo-choo train ought to be coming along right soon. It's due now, Limpy. <laughs> yeah. And it's bringing us about $10,000. You figure the Stevens will pay that much cash? Blame right they will. They ain't got no other kin but this young fellow in the train. They're leaving everything they got to him. You'll be worth that much, all right. Seems darn funny they ain't never seen him before. There ain't nobody around here ever seen him. His pa and old Jake Stevens was brothers. But they fought about something while there was a couple of young bucks and... They never had anything to do with each other since. And now he's going to come into everything they own. Some hombres have all the luck. <laughs> you won't think he's so lucky when he meets up with us. Yeah. What in blazes is keeping that train anyhow? What I'm worrying about is whether the fellers in the engine will see the logs we piled on the track in time to stop without wrecking the train. Don't worry. They'll see them in plenty of time. And another thing. How are we going to know this fellow Ridge Stevens when we meet up with him? We'll locate him if we got to search everybody that's riding the cars. Besides, Lamb Road, he was a tall young fellow with sort of sandy hair. It's a swell description. <laughs> You'd worry if he had cash in a bank. <laughs> yeah. If I knew you fellas was anywhere around. There's the train. Yeah, you can see it coming around the far bend. Gosh, just think of traveling without a horse. You fellas know just what you're to do? Yeah, we know. Yeah, I got it. Harv and Shorty will hold a gun on the two fellas in the engine. All right. Mac, you and Red will see that nobody gets a shot at Webb and me when we board the train. Yeah. And you, Pete, you'll bring up the horses so as we make a getaway fast. All right. Everything's straight, boss. It better be. The fellow that makes a mistake will have me to deal with. Gosh, ain't they going to see them logs? Don't be so all fired fidgety. 
Keep out of sight, you fellas, till the train stops. They seen the logs, all right. They sure did. Just hold still. They'll be stopping soon. And they'll stop right about here. Get aboard and go through the car. Yeah. Keep your gun handy. We're doing all right. Quiet, you hombres. There's only one gent we're looking for. The rest of you stay where you are and keep your hands in the air. We got to hurry, boss. Now, which one of you is Ridge Stevens? Come on, speak up. If you don't, I'll search everybody here. I'm Ridge Stevens. What do you want me for? Come here. I asked you a question. And I'm giving you an order. Step up here before I shoot. Try and get me. After him, Webb. Don't shoot you. Hold me while I'm alive. We won't get away. Grab him. Jump for him. Yeah. I'll give you a hand. I, I got him. Oh. Don't knock him out. I couldn't help it, Limpy. He hit his head against the seat when he went down. If he's dead, I... Gee, boss. Honest, he ain't. I can feel his heart beating. He sure got a bad cut in his head. It ain't bleeding much. Pick him up. We gotta get moving. Here, I'll give you a hand with him. Got him? Yeah. Pete's brought up the horses. They're just outside. Uh-huh. You can throw this fellow across your saddle. All right, boss. Watch out for the steps. I can make it. What are you doing with that fellow, you rotten trucks? There weren't so many of you. The sheriff will be after you, fellas. Ready to go, fellas? Yeah. You ready, Mr. Stevens, Webb? We're ready. Steady there. Back to camp, fellas. Now get moving. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Word of the train hold up and the kidnapping of a passenger soon spread. Among those who heard the story was the Lone Ranger, who with his faithful Indian companion Tonto, determined to investigate. In the meantime, the sheriff and his deputies had scoured the country for a clue to the outlaws, but without success. We see the sheriff now in his office at Sioux Rapids. A deputy is with him. You know, Herb... My idea is it was Limpy Davis and his gang that did this job. Don't know anybody else around these parts with nerve enough. But why in tarnation did they do it? You got me. There ain't much doubt with what it was Jake Stevens' nephew them outlaws captured. The folks on the train recollected the outlaws calling him Ridge Stevens. But if it's cash them crooks want for Ridge, why in blazes don't they send some word? Jig ain't heard nothing? Not a doggone solitary thing. Huh. Yeah, maybe it's just that they had something to get him. They wouldn't be likely to hold up a train just for a grudge. Don't sound reasonable. And it's four days since it happened. Maybe we'll find out someday. Someday? By the great horn toad, if we don't learn something pronto, we're going to be in hot water for sure. Jake's so mad he's fit to be tied. Well, you can't blame him much. I ain't blaming him. I'm just... We got a visitor. Come on in. A redskin. Well, I'll be darned. Tonto. Tonto wants make talk. Yeah? What's on your mind? Maybe you tell Tonto about outlaw. Outlaw? Huh? What outlaw? Tell her stop train. Oh. You got clue? What's it to you if I have or not? Maybe Tonto help you. You know anything about it? No. Tonto not know. What do you make of it, Sheriff? I got a notion. Say, Injun, who sent you here? Friend send Tonto? Your friend, huh? Uh. Your friend's name wouldn't be Limpy Davis, would it? Uh. That's not it. Sheriff, I'll bet it is. Limpy smart. It'll be just like him to send the redskin here to find out what we know. You make plenty big mistake. Yeah? 
Well, we'll find out about this. Should I jail him, Sheriff? We will if he won't talk. You will not jail me. Where's Limpy? Honto not know. You lie. Out with it, you fool cat. We savvy your game and you're going to talk. Honto not talk. Why are you... He leave now. Stay where you are. Oh. Shoot him. He's resisting arrest. I'll blast it. My hand. A mask fella shot through the window. A mask man? I seen him just for a second. He only hit my gun. Let's get after him. Him and the engine must have been together. Where they are? Shoot. I missed him. And look at him travel. Now we know doggone well who stopped that train. If it wasn't that mass feller, I'll eat my boot. In the outlaw's camp, it had been discovered that Red Stevens was seriously injured. For four days, he lay unconscious. And then, on the morning of the fifth, he stirred restlessly. Limpy stood over him, watching. Maybe he's coming, too. What was that, boss? Look at him. This is the first sign of life he's shown since we brought him to camp. <sighs> By golly, he's coming out of it. Wait. But I... Now wait, I tell you. Hey, you. Can you hear me? Uh, who's, who's that? He can hear you, Limpy. How do you feel, fella? Uh, gosh, help me to sit up, won't you? Uh, here, I- I'll give you a hand. Uh, thanks. Hey, what am I doing here? <laughs> I reckon you ain't forgetting what happened over to the railroad. Huh? Oh. Uh, what railroad? My gosh, you must have got a bump on your head. I'll be hogtied. Think of forgetting that. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I reckon I better be getting home. <laughs> You're a long way from home, fella. But, hey, uh, that's a funny thing. Huh? Why, I can't recollect where I live. I... I can't even remember my name. <laughs> if that don't beat all. Why, your name is... Shut a... up. Hey, what the... Keep I... your mouth shut, Webb. Jack, uh, well, Jack won't want to be bothered with that now. Jack? Is that my name? Uh, yeah. Come here, Webb. I got some things to say. Uh-huh. Come back soon, fellas, won't you? I got more questions to ask. I'll be back. You just take it easy for now. What in tarnation he up to, Limpy? <laughs> Where do we get where he can't hear us? But I here, can't. Here. This'll do. What I'd like to know is what you... You nearly got... spoiled it. Don't you see what's happened? He can't recollect a thing before that bump he got in the head. Sure. But why tell him his name is Jack? Because that's what it's going to be from now on. As far as he'll know, he's an outlaw just like the rest of us. Maybe I'm dumb, <laughs> but I can't... <laughs> we'll tell him he's wanted by the law. Yeah? This is good. He's the only one of us that ain't knowed around here by sight. Of course he ain't, but I... Can't you see it? We'll leave a note with Jake Stevens asking for 10,000 cash. Then we'll watch the ranch. (laughs) And when there's nobody around, we'll send this fella here after the money. You mean send young Stevens for the cash that's to be paid for his own return? (laughs) That's just what I mean. (laughs) His uncle ain't never seen him, you know. Well, of all... Why, sure, that's right. <laughs> and if he gets shot, they'll be shooting a the fellow they want to save without knowing it. <laughs> Limpy, that's the slickest idea I ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
Now to continue our story. When Red Stevens, who was kidnapped from the Sioux Rapids train, recovered consciousness in the outlaw's camp, Limpy Davis convinced him that he belonged to the gang. As our second act opens, the young man and Webb, Davis's lieutenant, are riding towards Stevens' ranch house. Red says, You know, Webb, I wish Limpy hadn't sent me to collect that cash. Shucks, Jack. There ain't no danger. The boys are watching out. If there's been a trap set, they'll give us a warning. I wasn't thinking of that. Well, you'll go through with it or wish you had. Where is this Ridge Stevens we're supposed to be holding? Never mind about that. <laughs> He's took care of all right. And another thing I've been wondering about. Yeah? Are these clothes I got on the same as always belong to me? Now, that's a darn funny thing to ask. Are they? Of course they are. <laughs> Ain't you satisfied with them? I... I was just wondering... It ain't easy when you can't remember nothing. Well, there ain't much you have to remember. Just don't forget that when we get to the Stevens place and you go in, I'll be outside by the window watching everything you do. Well, I don't cotton to this much. I don't know that I ought to... Keep your mouth shut and do what you're told. You're in this the same as the rest of us. Yeah, I guess that's right. Well, will these papers I got prove we're holding this Stevens fellow? Uh-huh. That's what he was kind to identify himself with when we took him prisoner. Yeah? Well, Jake Stevens ought to have the cash ready for you. It's been close to a week since he got the note. I know about that. There's the house now. I don't see nobody around. That's why we got word to come. There's only Jake in the house with some red skin and a young fella about your age. Oh, go oh. there. Oh. Now, go on in. If they try anything, I'll be just outside. There's more of the boys in Collin District. <coughs> I ain't afraid. I'll keep the horses with me. Who's there? I got a message for you. Who are you? I... Let me come in. Well, come in. You got any business with me? Who are these fellas? Why, the Redskins' name's Tonto. And this here is my nephew, Ridge Stevens. What's that? What are you looking so flabbergasted about? Did you say Ridge Stevens? Mm -hmm. That's my handle. But, but I just come to collect 10000 to turn Ridge back to you. Huh? Are you loco? Say, are you one of the fellows that sent me a note saying you had Ridge and wanted 10000 for him? Well, I, I didn't... <laughs> that don't beat all. If there's anything I like to see, it's a bunch of so-called slick crooks get fooled. Fooled? Sure. You grab a hold of some fella and figure he's my nephew. And all the time, the real Ridge Stevens is right here, safe as can be. But we got papers to prove it. They must be the papers I told you I lost, Jake. <laughs> well, young fella, you're welcome to keep them. And you can go back and tell your pards that their little stunt didn't work. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Yeah? Yeah. Least ways I don't think I did. What do you mean by that? I don't know exactly. Well, it don't matter none. We ain't particularly I... interested in your alibis, anyhow. Now go on, get out of here. You mean you ain't going to try and hold me? Shucks, what be the use? We know darn well you didn't come here without some of your friends to back you up. You go quick. Who'd you say the engine was? Told you his name was Tonto. He come along with Ridge here when he showed up. You leave now. I'm going. But remember this. We're letting you go this time because we savvy there ain't no use trying to keep you for the law. But if we meet again, you ain't going to be so lucky. We ain't likely to meet. And a good thing. Did you hear what they said, Webb? Every blame word. Get on your horse, blast you. But it wasn't my fault. Maybe it weren't. But when the boss hears about this, he's going to have your hide. Get up. Get up there. Get up. Come on. Webb and Ridge rode back to camp and made their report to Limpy. 
we see the outlaw leader as he questions the two men. Webb, are you sure that the young fellow is the real Ridge Stevens? Boss, I wouldn't swear to nothing anymore. Well, if he ain't, then I'm a Comanche. What do you look like? He was just like Lem Rodas. Sandy hair and everything. Mm. I don't like any part of this. If I figured I wasn't wanted by the law, I'd quit this gang. Now, you'd quit, would you? Why, well, bless your hide, it's all your fault this happened. It's because we thought you were... Webb, were... can't you ever learn to keep your mouth shut? Oh, what's the difference now? Plenty of difference. Jack, you go on over and see to the horses. But just what Go I... on, I said. Oh, all right. Now, what's the matter with what I said this time? Look here. What's gonna happen if he finds out he ain't a regular member of our bunch? What do you think it'll happen? Just this. We'd either have to shoot him or watch him all the time so he couldn't get away to tell about us. Well, I don't... But if we keep still about what we know... You'll keep on thinking he's an outlaw and stay with us. Well, maybe so. I've been wondering what could have happened. The only thing I can figure is that this fellow got Ridge's paper somehow and was up to some trick. He might have been at that. If he weren't, why'd he say he was Ridge when we found him on the train? And how'd he come to have those papers with him? Yeah, that's so. Now we got the whole thing to do over again. Huh? You ain't planning to get a hold of that fella at the Stevens place, are you? And why not? Hey, Fred, come over here. You want me, Limpy? Come here. What is it, boss? You've been with the fellas that have been watching the Stevens place, haven't you? Sure. You was watching it all the time so as we'd know when it was safe to send for the cash. What have you got in mind, Limpy? I was just thinking that while the fellas was watching, they must have learned something about what the folks at the ranch do with themselves. What do you mean? Well... Does this young fellow that's at the Stevens place ever go anywhere alone? <laughs> he sure does. Yeah? He takes a ride every day over to that big red hill north of the ranch. Every day? Just like clockwork. He starts out after dinner and don't come back for a couple hours. Then that's when we're going to get him. Maybe we can at that, boss. Sure we can. But do you figure it's safe? Why ain't it? We can meet him at the hill, grab him, and beat it. But what if he's being guarded? You just heard he rides alone, didn't you? Yeah, but what I meant was the hill can be seen from the ranch. And maybe somebody is set to keep an eye on him. If it looks like there might be trouble, we'll leave him alone. But if we get him, we'll have enough head start so nobody from the ranch could catch us. Yeah. We can have fresh horses waiting for us halfway back just to make sure. Uh-huh. But what if he rides off when he sees us coming? He don't know us. Why should he figure we're outlaws? Yeah. I guess that's right. Of course it is. <laughs> and this time we'll show Jake Stevens we ain't so easy to fool as he figured. following day, Limpy Davis and his men waited in hiding until they saw the young man ride from the Stevens Ranch. Then, when he drew near the hill, they rode forth to meet him. There he comes. That's him, all right. Just take it easy like we wasn't going nowhere in particular. Uh-huh. Wave at him, friendly-like. I'll tell you when to get him. He don't seem to suspicious nothing. He's waving back. Howdy, fellas. Now, hold up there, young fellow. Hold up, that bag of yours. What the devil? Uh, you're coming with us. You got him, fellas. You can't, yeah. you can't get away with this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're going to learn different. All right, Limpy. Look over to the ranch. There's two fellas riding out and more behind them. Come on. They can't catch us. Come on, get up. and spur, the outlaws urged their horses forward. But little by little, the gap closed between them and the masked man. Finally, Webb cried, They're almost up to it. Oh, God, i never seen horses like that. Get up there. Get along, bless you. The redskin's coiling his rope. we got to get away from them. The other bunch will catch us. Fire at them. 
can't aim right like that. Hey. I hope they catch a whole bunch of you skunks. We'll take care of you later. They're firing at us. Harry, I can get that mask on. I'll take a picture. Oh, we can't stand up against shooting like that. We got to him. The rope. The engine's rope me. Water. 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 Take the rope off of me. I'm choking. I'm choking. While the Lone Ranger and Tonto held the outlaws at the point of their guns, the sheriff and Jake Stevens brought up his posse to complete the capture. All right, I think. Keep your hands up. We give up, Sheriff. By God, the masked fellow's scheme worked just like he said it would. I told you if you did like he said, everything would come out all right. And it sure did, Marshal. Marshal? Is this fellow we just captured a United States Marshal? <laughs> yep. And the fellow you took off the train is the real Ridge Stevens. But what's the idea of the masked fellow's plan to make you think you got the wrong hombre? And the Marshal rode out here alone every day, so you try to get him. Flippy? We've been tricked. Why the blast? Take it easy, Limpy. You're headed for a long spell in jail. Oh, come here, Ridge. Gosh, it's good to see you, Uncle Jake. Hey, I thought you couldn't recollect nothing. I couldn't at first. When I seen my name wrote on the inside of my shirt, and Webb told me them was the clothes I always wore, it set me to figuring. So that's why he asked me that question. Yep. And then I started to remember things more and more. Well, I'll be... Hey, the... where's the mask fella? I want to thank him for what he's done. There he goes. Him and the engine both. Well, I'll be doggone... He captures the worst bunch of outlaws I ever seen. And then he just rides off like it was nothing. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.